This weekend has started on Thursday. I came here about, uh, I don't know, two months ago for some noodles. And we're back again because the summer, because uh, <laughs> the weather is nice. And, uh, Hello, I'm Liam. Yay! And we want to eat some food. Hello, I'm Tanu. And since spring is coming, uh, flowers Hello, are I'm starting Tanu. to pop out, and I guess it's going to be another weekend. Maybe next weekend. It's going to be uh, blooming season. Decided to go inside because it's a bit chilly outside still. So. restaurants have tables and floors uh, when it comes to tables you can come in and walk around with your shoes but when you sit down on the floor shoes have to be taken off so we're in the room uh, where you sit on the floor and our kids just pranced in uh, wearing their shoes and so I don't know, some people had a laugh Somebody left a comment underneath my last week's video, the Q&A video. It struck a chord. I quote, This guy has an English hagwon? Is he even a native speaker? And I would like to respond once more, because I did respond underneath the comment. From the deepest, darkest places of my heart. Fuck! No, but seriously. I'm glad to have such keen observers of the linguistic necessities required for anyone to be classified or qualified to be a native speaker or to even have a hagwon of any kind. I'm glad that my audience is so perceptive and so concerned for the well-being of the ESL industry. Let's continue with a weekend vlog of a Canadian expat in South Korea who owns a hagwon and may be speaking with a wishy-washy accent occasionally. It's true, people have accused me of that. Could be because I do speak two, two other languages. Well, 2.05, because my Korean is really horrible. Kids found a squashed dead frog, or dead squashed frog. Look at the detail, you can see the bones on these. We've decided to take a trip down to the beach and we had to make a short little pit stop for the kids to stop at a pit. What do you guys have? What'd you catch? It's a turf from the soccer field, man. Those are rubber balls. Oh, and Mr. Native Speaker Seeker. I'd like to point out that your understanding of sequences needs some work done. Mr. A, B, C, D, one, two, three, five. Ever been to the beach in spring? Well, here it is. It's low tide. Oh. So the bridge to the, uh, the sand bank to the, uh, the island is open. I always had this fantasy about uh, hanging out at a beach on a kind of rainy day with seagulls swooping up over my head. 
mean, I've done this before, but uh, it's always nice to do it. I just wish I had a thicker jacket, though. I am chilly. A little chilly, eh? Liam's a bit nippy, I guess. Are we gonna go to the island? Huh? We just head back, Liam. Liam's cold. A good waveage though today. What? Wanna go that way? You wanna go to the island? Yeah? Okay. He's a trooper. What? There's a warning, I guess, wave warning. Not many people heed it. Liam, it's fine. Look at the waves, it's low tide, man. There's no water now. There's a warning when the tide is higher. Right now, we're fine. You wanna go? All right, they check it out. You wanna go back? It's good surf, there's a bunch of people surfing. Korea doesn't get a lot of waves, so right now, uh, the, uh, the, the surf is up, so there's a bunch of surfers out in the ocean. They're trying to catch some waves. I guess it's a good time, even though it's cold, they get to surf. These guys are just floating on, on, the, on the waves. They're not really surfing, they're just kind of... Seems we're gonna head back into the car and, I don't know, go somewhere warm. is near a power plant. The power plant's just up that way. Uh, but this beach gets pretty busy in the summer. Uh, they, they just recently built a, uh, a campground just around a corner. Um, and that gets pre-booked like months in advance and people just come out during the summer. Summer months people just set up their tent, tents or whatever camping cars and come out here for the weekends. In the past you were able to camp out on the beach but uh, Korea is changing that um, and you're no longer able to, to pitch a tent on the beach. <laughs> uh, so uh, most places are building like designated areas, you know, campgrounds, so people don't set up tents on the beach. Hopefully that'll, that'll uh, get rid of some of the garbage that's, that's left behind a lot of, a lot of places. The coast is littered with oil tankers and cargo ships. Can't be really good for the environment, I don't think. I don't know. The beach is divided into two parts. Uh, the, the little sand bank that's, uh, that leads the way to the island kind of splits the beach in half. The other half is on in that direction. Oh, that direction over there. In that direction, yeah. And that's where the campground is as well. And our car is just around the corner. I think Jigyeong went back into the car because it's cold. Should I get the kids? Maybe. Hey guys, are you gonna play a little bit? Will you play? Not cold? You're hungry? Well, let's go eat something. Kids are hungry. I think we're gonna go get some uh, fish cake maybe. Uh, places like the street food here uh, usually deals in cash only. I don't know, some places do accept credit cards because it's, you know, 2019 almost. No, what year is it? Fuck. But for the most part, uh, a lot of places still deal in cash only. <laughs> Mali wanted to go board game. Mali wanted to go board game shopping, so that's what we're doing. Quick stop, get a board game, and then we're gonna head back home. We located a toy section. It's in the basement of the of the it's in the basement of the store, so that's where we're gonna head down. Check out what they have.
the honey section. Korean version of Katan. That's pretty cool, I guess. Never played it, but I heard it's pretty good. You're getting that? What are you getting, Molly? What is that? How do you play it? Get that? Okay, good. That makes one of us. Korean stores usually have a lot of food that you can taste. If you come in hungry, you can always pick out a little food and get some snacks so you're not shopping on a completely empty stomach. Because then you'd be hungry, and that's bad. Because then you spend too much money. We got sushi. Korean cheese is a bit tasteless for the most part. It's getting better, but still not what European cheese. Still not what cheese should taste like. Done and leaving. Went to the self checkout. Food shopping is exhausting. Oh no! Bumper cars. I'm trying to get Mali to do it first. Europe, Australia. That's it? Okay. So there was dust, there was gas, it all was squashed, this came, and then because it was so hot, what came after? Water, that's right. People are getting some cabin fever here, so we're gonna go out to, to the playground for a little bit. And that's how we roll each weekend. I've assigned uh, an hour or two each day, Saturday and Sunday. What did we study today? Studied your thumb. <laughs> what did we learn today in class? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Teeth. You? Nobody wants to see your broken teeth. Hmm. What did we study today? Science. Yeah, what did you learn? Did you learn anything? You learned earth. You learned earth. You ready? Set. Go. Down the slide, not a raise, don't kill each other. Over here, over the stairs, here, here are stairs. Slowly, don't break your legs. You just have to do it. And then up here. Liam, you didn't finish. No, I didn't. You did not finish. I saw you, you didn't finish. Down the slide, Molly. Liam, you just have to finish it. Good job, Liam. Down the slide and up the up the climbing wall here. Hey, go, Liam. Good job. Well done. We came to the old playground, but there's nobody to play with. So having ice cream instead. Some attempted exercise or something, I don't know what that is. 
We've made a decision. We're going home to watch a movie. Hey Molly, Liam, come here. You gotta see this cake. Look at this beautiful cake. Which one's the real flower? This, this one? This, 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 this. How do we cut this? We're watching a movie nice now. And this such is the end well, of this expert uh, weekend vlog. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I'll see you on Monday evening in the Hagwon podcast. Be able to fix the damage that I do.